Hi, after watching this video, you're going to know how to make a beautiful kimono that you can wear on your next trip to the beach. You need two yards or 1.8 meters of fabric. Any type of fabric can be used to make this design, but I will recommend getting something lightweight and flowy. In the description box below, you can find a link to some of my favorite options. Also, 2.1 yards of embroidered trim. And sewing materials such as thread, scissors and a sewing machine. The pattern for this kimono is simply a one yard by one yard square. Cut two pieces with these measurements and leave one of the squares as it is to use it for the back. The second square you will cut it down in half to create two front pieces. Each front piece will then measure half yard wide and one yard long. You can cut these pieces directly from the fabric, first the two squares and then take one of them and cut it at the middle to have the two front pieces. Also cut two strips of one and a half inches wide and 12 inches long. This is to create a cord that will be used to fasten the front of the kimono. The first step to make this beach kimono is to hem each side of the three main pieces. Fold 3 eighths of an inch inwards and program the sewing machine with a zigzag stitch at a length of 4 and a width of 4. So that while sewing the edges of the fabric are reinforced and it won't unravel so easily. And after sewing each side of the front pieces as well as the back piece, then hem the bottom side of all 3 pieces too. For this, measure around 1 inch and then fold upwards and pin it down. Use the same zigzag stitch to sew the bottom hem. Now that the hem is done, take the back piece and find the center on the top edge that doesn't have any stitches. The easiest way to do this is by folding it in half and making a small cut to mark down the center. To create the neckline space on the back piece, measure 3 and 3 eighths inches on each side of the center and mark it down. Take one of the front pieces and place it right sides of the fabric together with the back piece. Start by placing the sides together and then join the other edge of the front piece on the mark we just made to indicate the beginning of the neckline on the back piece. The front piece will end up being a bit bigger than the space where we are putting it, so make three small pleats to fit it into the space between the side and the neckline. Do the same with the other side to place the second front piece. These pleats don't have a specific measurement, simply try to make them turn out similar to each other. After having placed the pieces with pins, add a straight line of stitching at 3 eighths of an inch from the edge. Looking like this. To give the garment better quality, you can search the edges. If you don't have a serger machine, in the description box you can find a link to a video where you can learn how to create a similar stitch using your regular sewing machine. Now with the edges finished, fold inwards the neckline seam of the back and do a straight or zigzag stitch to keep it in this position. To define the hole where your arms will go through, measure the side starting at the shoulder line down 13 inches. You can also play with this measurement if you want this space to be bigger or smaller. At the place where you mark the 13 inches, measure around 1.5 inches inwards. And from this point, trace downwards a line of 2.5 inches in length. And with a straight stitch, sew following this line and it will look like this. Next, take the two strips of fabric and fold them in half to sew them. Then you can turn them right side out using something like the Dritz Loop Turner that is great for turning tiny tubes like this. At the front, find a place where you will put the strips to tie up your kimono. For mine, I measure around 14 inches down from the shoulder line. You can modify this measurement to be higher or lower, whatever feels more comfortable to you. After placing the strips with pins, sew two lines of straight stitching on each one to attach them. Cut the excess of a strip that's left inside. For the final touch, place the embroidery trim all along the edge of the neckline opening. 
To do this, first fasten it with pins and then sew it with a zigzag stitch. Remember that anything you can imagine, you can create. And why not match your new kimono with a new bikini? Click on this video to learn how to make the bikini bottoms that I wore with this kimono. In your hands lies the power to turn the invisible into visible. If this video was helpful, please share it or give it a thumbs up. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!